All right, we are live. Happy Halloween, everybody. I clicked on about a minute early because I uh, just wanted to get going. Just wanted to get going. So uh, I'll wait for some people to jump on. It looks like we only got like uh, 20 or so on here right now. And then uh, we'll get going here. First off, I got to make sure that everybody can hear me and see me okay. So if you can hear me and see me all right, please send out a comment. Jeff Spears jumping in. I see you, Jeff. Hello back to you, man. All right, Jason C. Jeff Spears saying you do. Good, good, good deal. Hey, Dave, how are you? Dave Ristow is here. Tom Brady. All right, there we go. Loud and clear. Lima Charlie. Cool. Hey, happy Halloween, everyone. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everyone had a great holiday. So, here, I got some technical issues going on. And yeah, just to be upfront and honest about everything, the, the Wi-Fi is down in the shop. And Greg Schmidt, John Levitt, see, here's the problem. Um, because the Wi-Fi is down in the shop, I'm running off cellular data. I can't use... Uh, the the iPad to, to see comments so my phone is a good three and a half feet or so away from me and it's hard for me to see the comments as they come in it's hard for me to see who's making the comments but uh, so if I miss your comments I truly truly apologize hey mom how are you happy Halloween back to you um, Mark Somerville good to see you blind Osprey there's Tim good to see you man Al Schroeder, I think I'm seeing that name right. And that's going to be the issue tonight, everyone. And again, I, my apologies. Without Wi-Fi going, um, I can only run my phone, and I can't see the comments that well. But we'll make do. Uh, we'll we'll absol absolutely make do. But anyway, let's get the most important thing out of the uh, out of the way first. Let's talk about the Lions. Let's, uh, let's talk about this uh, wonderful season they're having. I'd like to hear everybody's input on the Detroit Lions, if you don't mind, how much you love them and support them and believe in them, and you know that they're going to make it to the Super Bowl. Mark, uh, yeah, turn the, the iPhone hotspot on. I thought about doing that, and I've tried that in the past. The problem is I get real laggy on the phone then, and... Uh, I don't, I don't want to, we'll make do with the comments thing. I don't want to mess up the stream uh, to try to get that, that iPad going. So we'll, we'll be fine. Jeff Spears saying, go pack, go. MSU did great. MSU did do great. Yeah, that was a great game. There's some controversy there. You know, some people are saying that uh, U of M got robbed on a couple calls. And, you know, did, uh, did the one receiver drop the ball before he entered at the end? I... I don't get it. How are we still having that problem after everyone? Was that Deshaun Jackson that did that really to set the whole thing off when he, he dropped the ball uh, on a long play, dropped the ball before he went into the end zone or just just before he crossed the line? How are we still having this problem in the NFL, especially the pro division and, and college, too? I mean, my gosh, how are we still having that issue well, people just can't hang on the ball for two more feet, so there's no question about it. Just just walk over and hand the ball to the referee. You know, just just go do that, and then you're guaranteed that you did not drop that ball. I think Larry Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald did that for Arizona all the time. I just thought he was a real classy guy in the NFL. I don't mean to go off on a on a left turn tangent here, but Larry Fitzgerald was such a classy guy. I always see I always watched him catch a pass, and go over and hand it to the, to the referee. I always thought that was, that was really classy. I respected that. Anyway. But, yeah, the Lions, they're on a tear. They're, they're definitely trending in the right direction, aren't they? My Super Bowl hopes for 2021 are starting to get a little, a little trampled on, to say the least. I'm, a little, I'm starting to become a little worried about the Detroit Lions for this year, but I'm going to... I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to stay on that Lions bandwagon, and uh, hopefully they can pull something out here. <laughs> Somebody said Jared Goff got sacked more times. Oh, my gosh, yeah. It, it, was a, 
it was not good. It was not good. And I started to see it for the first time this year. I started to see some of that, that those looks in some of those lions' faces where they're just almost look they're like they were giving up a little, and I hate to see that. Man, I hate to see that because uh, that ju that just that, that picks up momentum, and before you know it, everybody's buying into that, and that the steam goes out, and the, the wind goes out of the sails, and uh, they just get worse and worse. So I'm staying positive. I'm a Detroit Lion fan through and through. I'm good. I know they're going to do great. They're going to win every other game for the rest of the season. They're going to squeak into the playoffs because, honestly, their division is not that good. They're going to squeak into the playoffs. They're going to run the playoffs, go to the Super Bowl. Um, I don't know who they're going to play, and they're going to win. So I'm still on it. I'm, I'm still on it. Ah, I should go see a, a psychiatrist. I swear. Anyway, let's uh, let's get some housekeeping out of the way here uh, before we get going. To, tonight's topic is uh, perch fishing, some some gear and some tactics that uh, that we've been using. So uh, about a week ago, or just a little less than a week ago, I put a video out of um, of me and the, the shop owner Bud and Greg Golab. Uh, we went down to Lake Erie. Did a day's worth of perch fishing down there. Just had a great, great day. Uh, had a great time. Caught a ton of fish. Caught a ton of big fish. And it had been a while since I'd gone perch fishing. I really enjoyed myself. So that got me out thinking here. What can we do here at the shop or even on this channel to, to you know, keep everybody's fishing juices flowing as we get into the colder months, you know, before ice gets here? Perch fishing is really good right now. As the water starts to get cooler and cooler and cooler, Walleye and perch fishing is going to get hotter and hotter and hotter, and I cannot wait um, to see what the next couple weeks are going to bring. So we're going to go over some of the gear that we used on that trip. I'm going to go over some of the uh, some of the tackle that we used, uh, and we'll go over you know, how we fished that day and how easy it was. I mean, truly, truly easy, and, and just so much fun. We were throwing perch back that if I'd caught up here in one of my local lakes. I would have thought it was a jumbo, and we were throwing those back. We probably threw 40, 40 perch back that day, and the majority of them were 78-inch perch. Uh, so those are nice perch, but we caught a ton that were way bigger than that. So that was really cool. So we're going to go over some of that gear. Uh, we also got some giveaways to catch up on and some more giveaways that we're going to do for tonight. This, this, you're going you're gonna to have your mind blown on what I'm giving away tonight. You're absolutely going to have... Your, your mind blown. Uh, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But somebody emailed me. Here's the super chat reel. I got it here. And uh, everybody knows how obnoxious and stupidly loud this thing is. Anytime anybody does a super chat, I let that thing sing. Somebody wanted me to bring in my decibel meter that I used on my, on my bow video and uh, to see how loud this ridiculous thing is. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm curious myself. Let me turn this on. We're going to see just how loud this thing is. So we got uh, me talking is like 80 decibels. Wow, I'm loud. <laughs> Let's see uh, where this, this reel comes in here. Hold on. <laughs> 92 decibels. 92. And I think 90 is the danger zone for for hearing damage so if you're if you're using akuma cold water reels you're damaging your hearing apparently or is it 95 decibels i think it's 95 so you're okay then never mind you're fine that's ridiculous i love that thing so if anybody super chats tonight they get to hear the 92 decibel akuma cold water reel go off you lucky people and just like that jason c sends a super chat so here's your 92 decibel super chat reel, Jason. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ah, that thing is crazy cool. But uh, let's, uh, let me, hold on just a second. Let me grab something. So anybody that watched two weeks ago, and I'm sorry I missed last week. I had some things going on, and I, it, tonight I was late because Halloween is going on. 
And I had a function to go to to help give out candy to kids. And I love doing that because it also means that I can stuff some candy in my pockets, which I promptly did and took it home. And uh, so that's the reason I was late tonight. And last week I just had some things going on I had to take care of, so I missed this last week. But two weeks ago I had everybody pick a number uh, between one and a thousand for these three Akuma cold water reels donated by Todd. And Todd, I'm not sure if I even still know your last name, but whoever you are, man, thank you so much. We have these three reels to give away. I asked everybody to pick a number between one and a thousand. The number that I had chose, or actually I had Siri choose for me as a random number, uh, that number was 545, 545. And somebody nailed it. They didn't nail it right away, but it took a few days. But the, uh, the person that won these is Matt A, just the last initial of A. That's all that's on the YouTube thing. So Matt A, uh, I'm going to give you a week to get in touch with me. Send me an email, chrisstangletackle at gmail.com. Send me your address and the phone number, please, and I will get these mailed out to you. And uh, congratulations, Matt. Well done. I mean, that's a nice... That's a nice triple section of, uh, of really quality reels right there. So congratulations, man. I had a couple people put in the comments and actually uh, email me and ask if I could split these up. And uh, no, I wasn't going to do that. I wanted somebody to get uh, a good quality set of reels. And there, there may come a, a time in the future if I get something like this again, I will split them up. I don't mind you know, spreading the winnings. I don't mind doing that. I wanted these to go as a set. They came in as a set. <clears throat> I wanted them to go out as a set. So I appreciate your input, but no, these are going out as a unit. So Matt A, congratulations, man. You are the big winner. You're going to have yourself a nice setup there of brand new reels. Uh, a couple other housekeeping things I have to go over. A few weeks ago, I gave away uh, some Beckhold flashers and a gift certificate to the shop. The person that won that gift certificate was Mike Peterson. Uh, Mike, I forget the number that you chose, but you were really close. Mike, uh, you haven't responded to me yet. Patrick Forrester was number two. Uh, Mike, I'm going to give you until next Friday, next Friday to get in touch with me. If you don't get in touch with me by next Friday... Patrick Forrester, you're going to be the big winner on that. You're going to get the gift certificate or the, or the flashers, whichever one you want, and then I will find the next, uh, the next closest number to win that second place prize. So Mike Peterson, again, please get in touch with me so I can get you, get you your winnings if you, if you want them. I'm sure you do. <clears throat> I'm sure you do. A $250 gift certificate is nothing to, nothing to scoff at for sure. But yeah, tonight I got a giveaway for you. You guys are going to freak out on this because I freaked out on this. I got to go get it out of the car. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Give me like a minute and a half. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Okay, so a little backstory on this. <laughs> Bill Gerlach, Union Show. Yeah, I get a break, right, Bill? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's in my contract. So, a anyway, uh, little backstory on this giveaway. Uh, I got a, I think it was a Facebook message from a guy named Ryan Purchase. And Ryan said, hey, love the show. Uh, I like what you do with the giveaways, help people out. And super nice guy. He said, I got something for your channel. I'd like, to, I'd like to have you give it away on the channel. 
can I meet you at the shop? So I met him here the, over the weekend and uh, he gave me this thing and uh, we talked about how we wanted to give this away, what he thought and what my thought process was on it also because this this is valued at about 800 and change, $800 and change. Um, this is nice. He had bought a boat. The boat that he bought already had one of these on it. Actually, I think he said it had two of them on it and he had already purchased this one. So he said, I have no use for it. Um, I don't want to sell it. I want it to go to your channel. Let somebody on the channel who needs this, you know, get their hands on it, and hopefully it helps out their, their salmon fishing and trout fishing experience. So let's check this out. What he gave me is a brand new Fishhawk X2. Brand new in the case. Brand new. And not just the Fishhawk. Also the rod that goes with it. So the, the Fishhawk X2 uses a slip deucer where you actually put the probe down on a down on line and it goes down into the water. And uh, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. Matt, or Ryan, he knows the ins and outs on this thing. So whoever wins this thing, uh, get with Ryan. He's on here all the time. He's, he's probably on tonight. Whoever wins this thing, get with him. He's, he's researched it. The rod that goes with it is the correct rod. Um, so really, really cool on that. And the uh, the unit itself, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Oh, and it also came with a head cover for it. He had purchased one of the rubber head covers for it. Super nice addition. So you get the display, rubber head cover, the rod, of course, so I talked about the probe, the there's some instructions in there, and of course, the cable. So if you are just getting into the world of salmon fishing and trout fishing, you don't have a fish hawk, or if you run a multi-boat, or for whatever reason, this is an excellent, excellent starter unit, or even just a, an extra unit, or just even a professional unit. These things work great. So, Ryan, big, big thumbs up for me, um, and I'm sure everybody else is saying that. I see a lot of people saying thank you. What a nice guy, though. What I mean, to, that, that is an amazing, amazing um, gift to the channel. and not, not to the channel, really, to somebody out there, because I get nothing out of that. That's fine. I don't want anything out of that. That's going to go anytime somebody donates to the channel, whether it be the reels that we just talked about, uh, the fish hawk. We've had other donations in the past. Of course, I don't get anything out of that, and I don't want anything. That goes to somebody on this channel, and uh, that it does help support the channel. So I do get that on the back end. But yeah, I mean, it's really you guys and gals out there helping each other. That's that's what that that's what's cool about that. So if anybody out there ever has something like that, they want to donate and they want to pass it on, pay it forward. You know, that's a that's a nice catchphrase these days pay it forward and you want to do that through the channel just get in touch with me i'm happy to do that if i can be the catalyst and the uh and the uh the way to get that done yeah absolutely i'm happy to do that so we talked about how he wanted this to be given away and what we're going to do is uh first off he wanted to make sure that it went to somebody that's on the channel and, and that needs it uh there's often times we do these giveaways and i see the winner is just kind of a, an anomaly, somebody I'd never seen before, somebody that's maybe not on the Sunday Night Live feeds, new to the channel, and they win it. And I'm fine with that. Whoever wins, wins. But Ryan thought this would be really nice to make sure that it goes to somebody that supports the channel or somebody has been on for a while. So in order to win this, all you got to do is be publicly subscribed to the channel. That's one thing. Be publicly subscribed. Because there's two ways you can subscribe. You can do it uh, privately, which uh, nobody can see that you're a subscriber. And you can do it publicly where everybody can see. I don't know why anybody would want to do it privately anyway. I mean, I hope you're not embarrassed to, to watch this channel. <laughs> Maybe you are. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, publicly subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And then uh, go down below. And after this is posted to YouTube, go down below. <laughs> Somebody said they're shy. <laughs> got phobias, <laughs> fishing phobias. After, after this video has posted to YouTube, go down below, put a comment down there, put whatever you want. Keep it, keep it nice, keep it clean, of course. 
uh, maybe a comment on where you fish, wh how you would use it, why you need it, something like that. Just something really short, a sentence or two. That's it. Post a comment down below. I will let this ride for two weeks. Two weeks. So two weeks from tonight, I will draw the winner. And the way we're going to draw the winner is I will live on this video, on that video two weeks from now, I will do a random comment generator while I'm doing the video. It will randomly grab a comment and it'll show me who the winner is. I'll double check that you like the video and I'll double check that you're publicly subscribed. And if you're all three, commented, subscribed, liked, you're the winner. You get yourself a beautiful Fishhawk X2 courtesy of Ryan Purchase. Really cool. <clears throat> really, really cool. All right, so Ryan, again, thanks, man. I do appreciate you supporting the channel that way. And thanks to everybody else that, that ever has and always will. All right, we are 20 minutes in. I haven't even talked about the fishing report yet. All right, uh, fishing report for around here. Water's getting cool. Perch are coming in. They're starting to show up in Portage Lake, Manistee Lake. Some walleye are starting to show up as well in some of the inland lakes. Some of the best ways to go out there right now is to go out and just jig them up. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Uh, I did hear some nice offshore, not offshore, I'm sorry, nearshore fishing uh, in Lake Michigan over the last couple of days too. Somebody said they were getting bites right on shore for lake trout, steelhead, cohos, and juvenile kings. So that's nice to see. Uh, as that water is getting cooler, those fish are going to get a little bit more and more uh, abundant. What's the right word there? Uh, plentiful around, around those, uh, those shallower areas. They're going to come in and a lot of those steelhead, of course, they're going to get ready to, to run up the river or get into the river. So being around those pier heads right now might be a really good idea. Get out there and cast some spoons and some stick baits. Uh, get out on the shores and throw some spawn sacks out there and uh, see what you can dig up that way. Like I said, perch fishing has been decent in Portage Lake. Not great, but I think it's going to get there pretty quick. And uh, walleye are also starting to show up more in the shallows and breaks and drop-offs also. Also, jigging has been good for those. I don't have anything specific on colors, techniques, anything like that. But now's the time if you want to get out there. It's a great time to get out in a boat, uh, weather permitting, of course, and just get after them. The, uh, the rut around here is starting to pick up. I don't know much about downstate. I imagine it's lagging probably five to seven days behind us, maybe a touch more. But the, the pre-rut is really starting to rip up here. Mark Somerville, you just gave me a super chat, so you get the reel. So nice of you, man. Thank you. Very nice of you. Um, but yeah, the, the pre-rut up here is really starting to rip. Starting to see some trailing bucks, starting to see some nice rubs, scrapes, uh, some other, you know, rutting act. You, you can start to see it in the deer themselves. You know, they'll start to get that, you know, that full body, bloated neck look. And you, you know when it's starting to change, especially when that, that colder weather really starts rolling in. I walked out my door the other day uh, to go to my truck, and there was, a, there was an eight point standing right right near my driveway, you know, 20 yards away from me. What he was doing there, I have no idea. Obviously, I know what he was doing there. He's out. This is 1.30 in the afternoon, too. So he's out cruising does. So that tells me that pre-rut is really starting to rip right now. And he was only, he was only maybe a 14, 15-inch eight-point uh, on the inside. So it wouldn't have been anything I would have drawn my bow at anyway. But it was nice to see. It wasn't kind of strange seeing him right in my driveway. That's, that's kind of rare around where I am, but... Uh, yeah, there he was. So I definitely know that that rut is starting to pick up. My gut feeling is really hardcore, full rut. We're about five to seven days away, about a week away. I think it's really going to be on right then. If this weather stays cool and uh, if nothing changes as far as climate, wind, rain, you know, things like that, if it stays cool, I think we're really going to see some, some heavy activity here. Definitely in about a week. All right, so there's your hunting and fishing report. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let's talk about tonight's topic. Let's do some perch fishing stuff. How easy it is, how effective it is, and how much fun it is. So like I said, oh, it's been about over a week now, about a week ago, nine days. Greg and Bud and I went down to Lake Erie, did some perch fishing. And like I said, it had been a couple years since I'd done it. And I'd forgotten how much fun it was. 
And uh, really, it's not, a, it's not a budget breaker in any way. You don't need a giant boat. You don't need a ton of gear. You don't even need a ton of experience to go out there and get after those perch. But when they're there, they're there. And when they're there, they are biting. It, it was a two or three minutes after we set the boat down and got our lines in the water, we had perch on the line. And it continued on all day long. I think we ended up getting about 70, 70 keeper perch for the three of us. And we fished three hours, three and a half hours. And if we'd been running double rods, we're all running single rods. Well, Greg was running a double for, for some time. But if we had all been running double rods, we probably would have limited out the three of us in five to six hours. So really, really good stuff. Oh, the gear you're going to need. And this is one that I absolutely love. Bud had this rod and reel combo down there while we were fishing, and this thing is a treat. Uh, you really need nothing more than about a six foot rod, medium light action, spinning reel set up. This has a Fluger President on it, which is a super nice reel. Uh, this, this rod itself is a Cubby Panfish rod. And uh, the specs on it's two piece. Let me take a look. Six foot. Eh, it's rated at. Uh, eh, it's hard to read that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Cubby C U B B Y panfish rod. Bud was running that thing almost all day. I got to play with it a little. Uh, this thing was a monster. Super super sensitive. Super fast response. Really nice touch on this thing. And when you're fishing perch, being able to feel that bite. Um, through you know through the sensitivity of the rod is, is paramount that's key uh, a lot of people watch their line and how it goes taut some people fish uh, well, just by feel or by putting your finger on the line and you saw that in the video some people fish completely that way but if you have a rod that's this sensitive and you can feel those bites that thing sets you apart so <clears throat> bud and i talked about this and because because I really love this thing and I think everybody else will. He actually said, you know what, let's go ahead and put these combos on sale right now. And I don't mean to sound like a commercial, I really don't. This is a nice setup. Uh, because it is perch time, we wanna get these on sale right now. If people are interested in them. It's normally, with the Fluger President, which is a super nice reel. Uh, with the Fluger President, what size is that? Pardon me, my eyes are not as good as they used to be. Yeah, I'm not sure. My apologies. Hold on, I think I know where the box is. Let me go grab it. All right. Fluger President. Since 19 or since 1881. Woo, that's a long time. <laughs> uh, 10 ball bearings, graphite, body and rotor, stainless steel, aluminum handle. I wish it had the model on here. I guess it does here. Oh, it's, uh, it's an SP25X. SP25X. So that's the reel. We got them in the shop for just over 70 bucks. We want to put these uh, combos out to everybody if you're interested. The rod itself and the president, $99.99 going out the door. You can't go wrong with that right there. You're saving almost, you're saving almost 30 bucks on that combo right there. So these are going to go on sale, $99.99 for that combo until Wednesday. After Wednesday, they're going to go up about 20 to 25 bucks. So if you're interested, you need a good panfish rod. I'm telling you right now, this is a good one. And I'm not just blowing smoke up you know where. I got to mess with this thing. I got to, to see what this thing can do. And this is going to be my go-to. Whenever I go perch and pan fishing, this is going to be my go-to. I'm going to use this for walleye too. I'll tell you what. The sensitivity of this thing, and as well as I could feel bites of this thing, this right here could become my number one walleye rod. I'd like it a little bit longer, maybe for walleye. But I don't think that that's going to be a bad setup for walleye right there. All right, so $99.99 going out the door. If you want one, call the shop, 231-887-4242.
and you can get yours ordered if you want it spooled up a certain way. We can do that, anything you want. Uh, shipping on that, you'll have to talk to the shop, see how that works out. Normally we do anything over $75 is free shipping, but because of the, the rod being a six foot rod and because it has to go in a longer box, there is gonna be a shipping cost on that. I don't know what it is, but whoever you talk to on the phone can definitely help you out with that and let you know all that you need to know. If you're in the area and you just want to stop by and check them out, you're free to do so. we got a lot of other things around the shop that you can try. Ugly Stick makes a really good six-foot pan fish rod. Excuse me. As well, those are excellent. I was using one of those that day, and I had good luck with that. But I can tell you, um, that cubby right there, I could feel the bites much, much better with that cubby than I could with anything else that I tried in a long, long time. So hats off to Cubby for whatever you, whatever magic you put into that thing. <clears throat> All right, some of the rigs we were using. Guys, this is not, this is not rocket surgery in any way. When the perch are in tight, when it's colder water, they come into that shallower water. We were fishing around 20 to 22 foot. We were fishing perch rigs right down on the bottom. So I'll show you one of these. These are the Tangle Tackle Signature Perch Rigs. And I gotta tell you, these, these caught some nice fish. <clears throat> a couple other, uh, a couple other like perch rigs. The, uh, some of the more well-known ones, the perch pounders, of course. Perch pounders have been around a long, long time and they absolutely catch fish as well. Uh, tangle, this Tangle Tackle rig though, this is a nice rig. Let me see if I can decipher it here. There's nothing much to these as far as fishing them. It's a double hook rig. It's made for fishing right down on the bottom, which is what you're gonna be doing anyway. On one end, just a snap. You're gonna put a half ounce to a one ounce weight on there, depending on how deep you are, wave action, currents, things like that. Above that weight connection, you're gonna have a single or a hook coming off there with a nice, you know, a nice attractor on there. Another eight to 10 inches above that, same thing. And then you connect your line to the top. So as that thing goes down in the water, your weight is gonna be down on the bottom. One hook's gonna be about 10 inches off the bottom. The next hook's gonna be about oh, 15 to 20 inches off the bottom. On your hooks, minnows, wigglers. I tell you what, we were using minnows all that day. Nobody down in Lake Erie seemed to have wigglers. Uh, so we were using what everybody else was using which was a small perch minnows, easy to attach, go right through the, go right under the hook, or I'm sorry, right under the nose, up through the mouth, not the top of the head. You know, just so you're hooking them just by the nose, they still have a lot of good action that way, or just, just behind the head on the back. Just get enough to go in behind the head on the back. That's another really good way to do it. I seem to be having more luck with it going through the nose than it was through the back of the head. Uh, I wish we would have had wigglers that day. I really do. I really wish we do. We had wigglers that day. Uh, because I know from experience, wigglers can put a ton of perch in the boat. And we talked about it. Next time, if, when we go down there, we're going to bring some wigglers and see how they do as well. Wigglers are super easy to attach. If you don't know what a wiggler is, I apologize. What it is, it's a mayfly larva. So it's something that's born in the water. I mean, it looks creepy as heck. Uh, it looks like a centipede with this bend on steroids in some way. Uh, all you gotta do with a wiggler, hook that thing right through the tail. You know, just maybe an eighth inch from the back of the tail, hook it right through the tail, and that way that thing can still crawl and wanna swim through the water, still really good action on those. All you're gonna do is once you put that thing down on the bottom, you feel that lead weight touch the bottom, you're just gonna hold it right there. What I was doing was just slacking off till I had the smallest amount of slack in my line that I possibly could and I would watch my line, I'd watch the tip of the rod, and I had my finger on my fishing line, and I could see that slightest amount of bite. When you feel that, you can either set the hook right then, or you can just let them take it a little bit more. More times than not, if you're quick enough on it, you're gonna get them right through the top of the, you know, right through the nose, coming up the top of the nose. And if you sit there and you let them take it too long though, you get a lot of them that ingest it down, and, uh, and it's, it, it's, it's a booger to get those out of there sometimes. So. A quick hook set is usually the best way to do it when you can see it. One thing I did, uh, I did notice on these rods, and Bud had mentioned it also, 
is it would have been nice if they had put something on the tip of that rod just see so i mean you can see how sensitive that thing is um it'd been nice if they put something a little bit more visible on the tip so one thing i know in the past that people have done i've never done it but all you got to do is get some flu fluorescent yellow or fluorescent green paint just give a little touch of paint up there and you can actually see that that thing bounce around a lot easier so there's a there's a tip for you it works really well too <clears throat> so wigglers perch minnows perch rigs you're gonna catch them it's a no-brainer on these things like i said you just set it down on the bottom let it go a little bit just a slightest bit slack there's still the line is still taut but you can see that line move and when you start to feel that you'll you'll pick it up quick too you'll pick it up quick when you see that line start to go and you can feel that rod that's where a sensitive rod really comes into play there's so many bad jokes that could be made here <laughs> but when you when you get the feel on that you can really start ripping the perch pretty quick so that is by far my favorite way to perch fish but there's plenty of other ways too crappie rigs that's a staple for some people that's the only way they perch fish and really that's that is almost just like that perch rig except they have the wire arms that come off to keep the bait spread apart a little bit more but really essentially you're doing the same same thing you're sending it down to the bottom with your minnows or your wigglers wax worms work work as well red worms mealworms they work also same same exact concept <clears throat> don't overlook these i know that people really think of these as a wintertime bait but don't overlook haley jigs Haley jigs down by the bottom or foot off bottom are absolutely a killer on perch. And Haley jigs come in about every color that you can imagine. If you don't know what a Haley jig is, it's a small piece of lead. Off the bottom of that lead, there's a small chain, maybe a half inch long, and then a hook on the bottom of that chain. So line comes down to the top of the jig, chain comes off the bottom, you put your minnow or your wiggler or your wax worm on there, this thing, when the, the perch are, I'm going to mess this word up. When the perch are suspended a little bit more, maybe a foot or two off the bottom, maybe a little more, that right there could be your bread and butter. Don't overlook Haley jigs in the fall. Uh, Lindy makes perch talkers, which is another nice jig. It's really the same concept as that Haley jig. You're fishing more towards an, a suspended uh, sense. You can still fish these down by the bottom. Absolutely. Uh, these come with trebles on them, which are also kind of nice. You get a few more bites. And walleye will attack these also. If they're in the area, they're going to they're gonna gobble these up. <clears throat> Regular jigs, like a Lindy Frosty, absolutely another killer. There's a, there's a Northland jig that I've used before, and I was trying to, trying to remember the name of this thing. Um, macho macho something macho jig macho something if anybody knows what the heck that is it's made by northland and uh it's it's another jig with a uh, treble on it i can't all i can remember is macho if anybody knows what it is shout it out please that's another really effective uh jig for for perch and for wally and these work these lindy's these haley's these perch uh perch rigs just the the classics work throughout the winter as well so as you get into fall and get into your ice fishing time macho minnow somebody just nailed it who was that mike mike potts i think that was that's the one that thing is a uh, that thing is an excellent excellent well, probably my favorite jig uh yeah other people are name, nailing it also macho minnow yep that's a good one so yeah i mean perch fishing is a no-brainer and it's nice because it's i mean if you compare it to salmon fishing on a cost level, salmon fishing is like at up here. Perch fishing is way down here. You don't need much. Just a decent rod and reel, something with some good sensitivity, some tackle, some minnows, some wigglers. Um, I missed whatever comment that was. Something about smelt rig. Um, yeah, it doesn't take much to get out there and go after perch. And you know, you gotta split your time this time. If you're a bow hunter, it's really hard to go, okay, you know, the rut's on, do I wanna climb down? Or do I, do I wanna not go in the tree today and go out fishing and get after some perch? You know, it's a balancing act. You know, it's really, it depends on what you wanna do, but 
Guys, don't, don't overlook this time of the year for some classic and some giant perch because this is the time to really get, the, get after those in the fall. Walleye as well. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting with some of my buddies maybe next week and getting out after some walleye and getting a video done on that. So <clears throat> I ran through this pretty quick. There's not a whole lot to it. I mean, if you watch that video, uh, if, you if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look on this channel. You'll see uh, about eight, nine, ten days ago, I put a video out on Lake Erie perch fishing. You'll see all of these. You'll see all of these uh, perch rigs in action, and you'll uh, you'll see exactly how easy it is and how effective it can be. So anyway, if you got questions on that or questions on anything in general, shout them out. I'm gonna have a hard time seeing the comments. Like I said, uh, the Wi-Fi is out here, so. I have to look at my phone. I'm doing my best. I'm doing the best I can to see what everybody is saying, but uh, I might miss a few, but uh, I'll do my best. Anyway, I just want to recap that. If you need, uh, if you're in the market, I can't recommend this combo enough. And that, again, that's not just smoke going up, you know where. This thing is, it's, it may be the nicest combo I've ever used for perch and panfish. I liked it that much. All right. Set that aside. Oh, $99.99 on sale for three days. Then it goes up, like I said, 20, 25 bucks. So call the shop, 231-887-4242, and you can get your hands on one of those. How many people we got here? 90 some. That's oh, it's hard to see. All right. How would you guys and gals like a tour of our new river room? Um, it, we got uh, we got a room here on the side that uh, they've been renovating and putting river gear in there and getting it looking. It looks really nice. Um, looks really, really nice. Uh, if you want a tour, I can do it right now. Absolutely uh, right now. I can pick up the camera. We can walk around, check out some things. And uh, I think we'll do that anyway. So yeah, let's do that. Let me grab this. Let me flip the camera around. Hold on. How do I do that? There we go. All right, here we go. So I'm back here in the back. I mean, it's your classic fishing shop. All right. So there's where I stand, obviously. Uh, we got ice fishing gear coming in. That's one of the new clams that just came in. That's a nice little setup right there. I tell you what, for a little one man, I could, I'm gonna go right in here. <laughs> this is classic television. This would be nice. Insulated, this is really nice. Pop up little clam shelter. Little drink holder down here. Yeah, a little drink holder down here. Oh, this is nice. I could get used to this. All right, let's uh, step out of that. Rods, uh, we got more clams in stock. We got Eskimos in stock. Propane, Chappelle's in stock. We got uh, augers if you need them. That, those ion augers, I need to try one of those. I've heard nothing but amazing things about those augers. Up to 1,600 inches per charge. If you guys know anything about those, send it in the comments because I would like to hear more about those. But, uh, we got some uh, strike masters and some razors up here, hand augers. And we got some rods and reels starting to come in. All right. The minnow tank I got off right now. But we got plenty of perch minnows. The minnow tank I just turned off for the video because it's so loud. But let's check out the river room. Because uh, it is a really nice room. And if you if you if you got a world-class river nearby, we got two of them. You might have, you better have a river room, right? So as you, we'll do this like this. All right, we just walked in the front door. Here we are, just walking in the front door. And what do we see? We see a sign up here. And I bet you nine out of 10 people don't even see this sign, but uh, river room to the, to the left. All right, let's go to the left. We'll go into the river room. Okay, all right. So a nice section of spinning reels, Center pins, some bait casters. We got all your uh, all your curing stuff that you need here. All your potchki, your brine. 
Uh, we got more spinning reels in the case. Everything from Shimano, Akuma, some Luz, some Daiwas, some Creeds. Yeah, nice selection there. Uh, that's actually one of those perch combo rods right there. That's that uh, president, that Fluger president with that cubby on there. <clears throat> All right. We'll go around the room here. We got some flies. Got all the beads that you could need, some Planos up there. You name it, color of bead, you need it, we got it here. We got your line that you're gonna need, whether it be floral, mono, a lot of floral in the river, I know that. Blood Run, Cigar, uh, P-Line, Sunline, Maxima, a lot of stuff there. All your floats. Whatever size float you're going to need, we got it. Hooks. All your weights. Of course, you got to have some, some body baits in here. So, of course, we got the Wigglers, the Brad's Wigglers, Maglips, more Maglips, Hot and Tots, more Wigglers, more Maglips, you name it. Thin Fish are in here. Yep, they're in here. We got hot. How many hot and tots? I love hot and tots in the river. I see a few. Some steelhead jigs. About every color you could imagine. These got really hot last year. These steelhead jigs. All right. Oh, of course, there's some flatfish down here. There's your yarn. Got to have yarn, your floats, your float balls, tubing. Got some fuzzy uh, fuzzy jigs there. Your Panther Martins, you got to have your inline spinners. Maps. Uh, and, of course, all your netting, your float balls, more netting. You name it, it's here. We got it. And then a really, really nice selection of, of rods and reels in here. Here's some combos that are already made up. These Douglas rods, I tell you what, they are gorgeous. They are not cheap. But man, are they nice rods. Uh, what's the price tag on that? Oh, yeah, they're not cheap. Too much for me. But boy, are they nice. And on the back, of course, we got some nines. Eight and a half, nines, 10 foot steelhead rods back there. You name it. Uh, we got a whole bunch of uh, different brands back here Okuma, Eagle Claw, Okuma, Okuma. I'm familiar with that one. That's a blood run. Real nice. Of course, some of your higher end stuff. Well, we got vests in here, hand nets, you name it. A whole bunch of stuff in here. So, anyway. That is the river room. I wanted to show everybody that. It's a nice room. Of course, some weights if you need it for your boat. Yeah, that's a nice room. Let's head on back. There's my, uh, my high quality camera stand for today because I couldn't find my tripod. Let me put you back here. All right. How'd you like the tour? Waiters. Yeah, there's waiters in here somewhere. Yeah, BMK. Some, I know there are. I don't know where. Uh, and if they're not, they probably sold out. Yeah, not sure, but I know there's always some waiters in here someplace. All right, this thing is gone almost 50 minutes. We're all, well, actually right at 50 minutes. Let's cut out of here. Uh, don't forget, you want to win this fish hawk, and I know you do. I would love to. Fishhawk X2 and the pole can be yours. <laughs> Jim Dombrowski, thanks, man. Um, all you got to do, be publicly subscribed to the channel. Like this video, and then after this video posts to YouTube, go down below, um, go down below and just leave a comment, whatever you want to leave. Again, be, be courteous, be kind, let's keep it clean. 
but maybe just a little ble- brief thing on why you need this or where you fish or how you fish, whatever. It doesn't have to be more than a line or two. You don't have to make it a whole book. Um, it's not going to be based on your, uh, on your entry. And then uh, in two weeks, I'll do a random comment selector. We'll pull out a name. We'll give this away to somebody. And somebody's going to be very happy. Very, very happy. Not like Lions fans, which are not really, really happy right now. But we'll get through that. All right. What else? Uh, that's it. I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Got a bunch more videos coming up. I got some bow hunting videos coming up. I got to produce. I got to edit. I plan on fishing throughout the entire winter this year. We're going to have some good uh, good ice fishing stuff. I hope there's, I got a walleye trip possibly lined up next week. Show you how we do some walleye jigging, and I'm really looking forward to that. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Be safe. Happy Halloween. Let's get out of here. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're good people.